Hey guys, in my last two videos, we started looking at the two conditional statements, if statement and the if else statement. Now, in this video, we will be looking at multiple if statements. So, if and if, else if, and uh, if statements within an if statement. Okay, so uh, let's create a variable, uh, John, and let's make him 50. So, this in this case means that John is 50 years old and let's make an if, uh, a number of if statements to determine uh, how old this John is so let's write an if uh, and inside the brackets let's say John is less than 40 so he's less than 40 years old so if John is less than 40 years old basically we have John is young Let's leave it at that for now. And else, uh, else, and we can write another if. So we have a first if and we have a condition. And we have a code that gets executed if that condition above is true. However, if this condition is false, we can write another condition here after the else. So we have an if else if statement. So else if. John is uh, bigger than 65 we could write another code saying that John is old and we can write the rest so else and we write uh, John is between 40 and 65 because in my first if statement we asked if John is less than 40 and if it isn't true it goes over here to say if John is bigger than or older than 65 and if that's not true then we will have an answer of John is between 40 and 65 now let's start let's start with just writing here document dot write uh, John is getting old so in this case it's uh, John is older than 40 but younger than 65 okay now let's write an if statement inside here to further narrow down how old John is now let's say now inside this curly brackets of the my first if statement we create another if statement just like this where we have another condition and another uh, code that will be executed if that condition is true so let's say if John is older than uh, 20 so if John is younger than 40 but John is older than 20 we write document dot write John is a young adult so in this case he is in the age between 20 and 40 so else now that means that John is younger than 40 and younger than 20 so we write an S else uh, document right and we'll say that John is still a kid a kid because he is a uh, John is younger than 20 now let's put back the space now let's say uh, if John is bigger than 65 John is getting old so over here we could write uh, if we can write another if statement quickly uh, John is bigger than 80 document dot write John is really old so John is actually uh, older than 80 years old now we have an else statement say if John is older than 65 but younger than 80 we write document dot write uh, John is enjoying his 
I don't know, what could I say? Second life, afterlife, not afterlife means after dead and second life isn't right English. John is enjoying his post work age. No, John is enjoying his life. That would do. I don't know. So this means that John is older than 65 but younger than 80. So we have this one, two, three, four, four if statements and three four else statements or well, technically this is else if but let's look at this from scratch so we have this variable called John at this moment he's 50 now we have a first if statement saying if John is less than 40 do this now else no let's look at this first do this now this is another if statement saying if John is bigger than 20 let's write down John is a young adult because that means that he's between the age of 20 and 40 however if John is not bigger than 20 or older than 20 we write John is still a kid because it means that John must be under the age of 20 now let's say else if uh, if John is less than 40 is false then let's check if John is bigger than 65 and if John is bigger than 65 is true we run this code which is another if statement saying that if John is bigger than 80 we write John is really old because he's older than 65 and older than 80 now oops 80 that means that John is older no 80 older than John there however else if John is older than 65 but younger than 80 it means that John is enjoying his life because he's between the age of 65 and 80 now if John is bigger than 65 isn't true we don't run this code and instead or else we run this code John is getting old because that means that John is between the age of 40 and 65 okay so let's save our work and load our browser now because John is 50 years old and uh, therefore John is getting old because uh, we run this doc code if John is at the age between 40 and 65 let's change his age to 19 now John is still a kid because he's younger than uh, 20 over here so John is not bigger than 20 but therefore we have a document dot write John is under 20 and there we go so this is a quick video talking looking at uh, multiple if statements and if statements inside an if statement so hopefully uh, this was uh, a simple enough uh, example to show you how multiple if statements work. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.